The Volvo Ocean Race is like the uh, Formula One for shipping. It's a way to test the products under very harsh environments. If it works on these boats, it will work anywhere. The use of the equipment on board is a bit similar to what we see in other areas like even the big ships, but the toughness and the uh, ruggedness of the products, that's what we really test here. We are very close contact with the crews on board. We get immediate feedback and we use that in our overall development process in order to achieve the best possible products. The Sailor 500 on, on, board, the, on board the vessel behind me serves a, a, a dual purpose. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. It, it works in two, two directions simultaneously. Whilst the navigator of the boat is, is downloading his weather from, from Volvo from the, via the satellite, I am transmitting my media and through some complicated technical skullduggery they, they've figured out how to get the, the stream going both ways. Um, so that initially that's essentially that's, that's what we use the 500 for. I personally use it to receive weather data which comes uh, four times a day and the Sailor 500 is being a really good tool for that because it's uh, the speed increase from what we've used in the past is a, a major bonus for me. The information is just flowing, the connection is so fast and it's just, it's always nice to play, you sit behind the computer, you're dry and, uh, and warm. So uh, you don't feel a difference like being back home and, and of course that's, that, that makes life easy. But of course we're doing a lot of uh, messages sending off the boat like uh, film and, uh, and video, which of course is, is great for the public to see what we are doing and that just, uh, that is, that is the main thing where we're using it for. There are quite large files, grid files, satellite pictures, the whole range of weather information and it's really a key to making our strategy for each leg. I could be sending a, a two minute video which is an, uh, certainly in, in the order of gigabytes going on and off the boat. It's very, very simple for me to, um, to, to send all, all, my, all my media, my, my video, my stills. The basic way I connect is through the, the media desk. On leg one, we did have a problem with the media desk, so for about the last quarter of that leg, I had to essentially hook my laptop straight up to the 500, and uh, the whole thing just worked fantastic. They, they walked me through it. It was very, very easy. and. Essentially, once I was hooked up and running, I didn't notice any difference. I plug directly in with it through the interface and just go from there and it worked really well for me. You pick up the phone where you have a problem and you can straight away communicate basically with the guys back home, with the race organisers, with your shore team. You grab the phone and you have straight away you have contact and, and you, can, you can basically just feed to everybody back what the issues are. So it's just a, it's just a huge relief when you are in trouble to know that you have equipment what is working 100%. Here we go, boys, here we go again. The Sailor 500 has been incredibly reliable. When we first got them a few months ago, I thought, this is new, new technology, something's got to be wrong. And it's been faultless all the way around the world. Really impressed, actually. Good job. I was a little sceptical at first, as you often are with new equipment, but really all through leg one, two and three, we've, uh, we've had no problems with the units. If you're missing out on information, the rest of the race is over. It's teamwork, it's uh, dedication, it's meeting a challenge. It's not just like boiling an egg. It's achieving something that's difficult. We do that in our company. We set up teams, we work hard. We, you have to be close to the edge to feel the challenge and to actually have the passion and the creativity to achieve these goals. That's what they do in the Volvo Ocean Race and that's what we're also doing at Trana and Trana.